Hey guys, it's Aaron Farmer with MySugarFreeJourney.com and last night we uh, had our day four video of our 28 day weight loss challenge and uh, so we're going to go over the, uh, the notes and kind of recap the big things that we talked about yesterday. So today what we're talking about is hormones and how hormones will affect your, uh, pardon me, we'll straighten it up there, and how hormones will affect your weight loss or weight gain. So, so many of the things that we do every day are driven by our hormones. Uh, are you hungry? That feeling is caused by the secretion of ghrelin uh, from the stomach lining. Uh, are you full? That's because leptin has been released by your adipose tissue telling your body to stop eating. So those feelings of hunger, those feelings of feeling satisfied, uh, are controlled by your hormones. There are a host of behaviors that we now treat with hormone therapy. Uh, for instance, narcolepsy is treated by dealing with the hormone erexins that's supposed to be secreted by the brain. Uh, schizophrenia is dealt with by dealing with the defect in dopamine, dopamine transmission in the brain. You can't counsel someone out of schizophrenia. It has to be dealt with on the hormonal level. And obesity, we're finding out, is no different. Uh, when you eat something, your body begins to break that food down into a form your body can use. Uh, for instance, fats become fatty acids. Proteins become amino acids. Uh, carbs become simple sugars. We, and we'll, for today, we're, fo we're going to be focusing mainly on the glucose that is formed from eating carbs. So, as your blood sugar, uh, as your blood sugar level rises, your pancreas is stimulated to start secreting the hormone insulin to deal with the glucose that's in your bloodstream. Insulin is your body's fat storage hormone. When insulin is secreted, that's your body's signal to start storing away all that glucose into your fat cells for later use. Because essentially, uh, sugar is, is a toxin to your body. Your body doesn't want sugar just rolling around in your, uh, in your blood. It wants to get rid of it and get it stored away as fat as quickly as possible. That's, that's, that's what insulin does. Uh, <clears throat> insulin is the most important hormone you need to know about in your weight loss journey. If insulin is present, and this is, this is a bit of an oversimplification, but this is the truth. If insulin is present, then your body is storing fat, and you're getting fatter. If insulin is absent, then your body is using stored fat as fuel, and you're getting thinner. Um, the problem for most of us is that we eat something that triggers a strong insulin response with every single meal. So we never give our body to chan to a chance to use the fat it already has stored for, uh, for energy. So take for instance, you have um, two pieces of uh, toast uh, with your breakfast, and then for lunch you have a sandwich, which is another two pieces of bread, and then uh, for dinner you have whatever you have, you have a, you know, a roll on the side, some bread, or maybe you have a baked potato, uh, or you have a hamburger with french fries, uh, and then you, uh, and then at the end of the night, you have a, uh, you know, maybe a sugary dessert. Well, uh, every four hours, you've eaten something that's caused an insulin response. So your body, do, you haven't given your body a chance to use the fat that it has stored for fuel because you've, you've, you've kept your insulin secretion going all night or all day rather. Um, Insulin is the most important hormone in weight loss, but it's not the only mechanism that exists in your body to regulate your weight. Uh, you've got your hypothalamus that receives signals from the body, primarily in the form of the hormone leptin, uh, when you're full, and triggers one of two hormonal states in the body. Uh, either anorexigenesis, which is the feeling that you're satisfied uh, or, uh, and do not want to eat anymore, uh, and can burn energy, which is very important, or orexigenesis, the feeling that you're hungry and want to store energy. So you're either in one of these two states. Either your body feels satisfied and you're burning energy or you feel hungry and your body's going into fat storage mode and, uh, and uh, making you bigger. You, can also, you also have the vagus nerve that transmits this hormonal information from the brain to the gut and the di digestive organs. So your vagus nerve is, uh, is what can actually connects your brain to your gut. And so a lot of these hormone signals travel up and down that nerve. Um, whenever you feel hungry or feel satisfied, you know, that, that doesn't have anything to do with the amount of physical space that food has taken up in your belly. Uh, it has everything to do with the hormones that are present in your bloodstream. Um, <clears throat> so uh, so if, you can, if you can control your hormones, you can control your appetite. So leptin is the hormone that tells your hypothalamus that you're full. And that's, that leptin is uh, secreted by your, uh, by your fat tissue. As blood sugar increases and insulin is released by the pancreas to deal with it, leptin is eventually released as well to tell your hypothalamus that your body has the energy it needs for now and just to stop eating. Um, at one point, it was assumed that obese people were just leptin deficient. 
uh, that uh, all they needed to do was to have their leptin levels r uh, raised and the weight would come off. But unfortunately, that didn't work. And the reason why is because we found out that obese people aren't leptin or aren't leptin deficient. We're leptin resistant. Uh, so uh, we've we've uh, we've gone for such a big part of our lives just ignoring those leptin signals and eating even when we were hungry, uh, even when we weren't hungry. That uh, that our bodies just ignored. Uh, our body now ign ignores that leptin signal to turn off our appetite. Uh, our leptin levels have been so high for so long that our hypothalamus no longer responds to leptin like it should. So just like someone can become insulin uh, or insulin resistant, which leads to type 2 diabetes, uh, we can also become leptin resistant, and which leads to obesity because we're always hungry. Uh, and, and that's really the crux of the problem. Insulin and leptin are both fighting to be seen by the hypothalamus. So if you can imagine, there's just like one receptor on the hypothalamus, which uh, again, I'm oversimplifying, that uh, that can either pick up insulin or pick up uh, or pick up the uh, the leptin to turn your appetite off. When insulin levels are high, your body goes into fat storage mode and you get fatter. When leptin levels are high, you go into fat usage mode and you get and you get thinner. But if your insulin levels are always elevated, uh, it drowns out the leptin signal and your appetite is always turned on. So if you're constantly eating something that causes a hormonal response, your body's never getting that that uh, I'm full signal and uh, turning off your appetite. And you know this is true. You know that um, if, like, let's, let's say you eat a big dinner and uh, you're, you're full and you, you feel satisfied and you couldn't possibly eat another bite, but then if I put a big piece of cheesecake in front of you, 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 you find the room to eat that. And the, the reason for that is because it's not, the, uh, it's not the amount of space that the food is taking up in your belly that, that causes the, the, full, uh, the feeling of being full. It's the it's the the leptin, and when you eat sugar, it doesn't trigger uh, it doesn't trigger leptin. So you can actually continue to eat sugary desserts for for a while and uh, not continue uh, and not uh, not feel more full. It's the same thing. Where, you know, when you go to the to the movie and you have a giant tub of, of popcorn, how in the world are you shoving all that popcorn down your throat? And it's because it doesn't trigger uh, it doesn't trigger a leptin signal, so you don't feel full. In fact, uh, you know, I've I've gone to movies, eaten a big tub of ice cream or ice cream, a big tub of popcorn, and then you know felt hungry after the movie, and, and you know, went out and had a, a big meal. And it's because the carbs in that popcorn doesn't trigger that uh, doesn't trigger that leptin signal. Um, so not only are you always hungry, but since your body is constantly in fat storage mode, you don't have the necessary motivation to exercise or to be active. Because when uh, when insulin levels are high, your body just kind of wants you to sit down and, and be cool, uh, because uh, not not move, because it wants to store that it wants to store that fat. You need to reduce your insulin levels so that uh, your leptin levels will rise, which will trigger a controlled appetite and give you the energy to move and exercise. So hormonally, that's how all this works. Once you remove the sugar and the carbs from your uh, from your daily diet, um, your body's metabolism is going to go back to normal. Things are going to be your body's going to be able to figure out what's happening, and um, you uh, you're going to control that insulin response and lower that insulin response as much as you can. And when you do that, your body can then respond to the leptin signals, and you're going to be less hungry. It is amazing to me. I used to, you know, I used to have to have something to eat at 10 or 11 o'clock at night, you know, uh, before dinner or before uh, before I went to bed because I was, you know, just starving, you know. Um, and uh, but now since I've since I've made this this switch, I just I really don't get hungry anymore. Usually around the middle of the afternoon, I might get a little hunger pain to remind me to uh, to have dinner, but or to have lunch rather, but. It's 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 not like it used to be where I just felt like I was going to collapse if I didn't get food down my <laughs> down my face immediately. Uh, it's uh, so the I can tell you just from personal experience the the uh, the effect on your appetite uh, is amazing once you once you get the sugar and the carbs and everything that causes those high insulin responses out of your diet. Man, it's it's amazing how much how more controlled your appetite is and you just don't eat as much. All right, I appreciate what you're watching. This has been day four of our 28-day uh, weight loss challenge. I appreciate you watching. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.